from WBAL TV 11, this is Breaking News. And we begin with that breaking news from Northwest Baltimore, where several firefighters have been injured fighting multiple row home fires. The fire started on Linden Heights Avenue, not far from Belvedere Avenue. We have live team coverage from the air and the ground. Let's begin with Captain Roy Taylor and Sky Team 11. Looks a lot different than when you first got there. It does look a lot different, but the fire department, as you can see, are still dealing with hot spots. They're unable to put a ladder up against that side house there because the wall could collapse and cause more injury there. They have at least six water lines that are actually trying to fight this fire from the rear, and they have several out front. Now, we have video to show you of what it looked like when fire crews first arrived at the scene. This happened over an hour and a half ago when they received a call of a row house fire at 5210 Linden Heights Avenue. When they got here, they found three homes involved in flames and certainly went to four homes involved in flames. It wasn't long until the fire department requested a second alarm and they actually had a mayday call go out because from what we understand, two of the firefighters were trapped or injured somehow in one of the dwellings. We believe that to be 5210 and they were able to finally get out and in the process of getting out, a third firefighter was also injured. Now, those firefighters have been transported to the local hospital. We don't know the severity of their injuries at the present time. Fire crews are dealing with hot spots. They pretty much have the fire under control in uh, 5214, 5212, but they just can't go inside on 5210 or 528 because it's just too dangerous. We're still trying to get a cause of this fire, and as we do, we will update you reporting live at Sky Team 11. I'm Captain Roy Taylor. Roy, thank you. Kyrie Stewart, also live there, not far from the scene. I bet you're in the middle of a lot of road closures. Oh, several road closures. You know, they have part of Belvedere shut down. Of course, they have Linden Heights Avenue shut down as well. But I'm going to step out of the way and just show you the scene right now. This is the closest. This is probably the best shot right here. They have like four, four to six hoses spraying this thing down. And like Captain Roy was talking about, they're still putting out some hot spots. You can see one right there um, on one of the structures. Uh, but again, he said that we have four structures here um, involved. Uh, the fire um, fire officials told me uh, just about 10 minutes ago, um, I just got off the phone with them, that three firefighters um, have been injured and treated in this. They did not say the extent of their injuries. Um, but we do know um, that three have been injured. They also didn't give their uh, conditions as well, uh, but it's still a very active scene out here. You know, that mayday call went out earlier. This came in um, right around 340 uh, this afternoon. But right over here, you can see that we have some firefighters on the roof here as well. Um, you know, a little bit earlier when we were coming here, we were able to see the smoke really from about, I'm going to say, two or three miles away. And I thought when we were leaving the station earlier that we could even smell it. So that just goes to show you um, just how big uh, this fire is and just how much work that they're really um, putting into it um, to really kind of knock it down. Um, a little bit earlier, I want to say about five to ten minutes ago, we saw some white smoke. So um, that showed that, you know, they were doing a good job at knocking it down. Uh, but we're starting to see some black smoke come out of here now. So, again, you know, we still have some hot spots out here. Several roads closed, part of Belvedere um, and then part of Linden Heights Avenue closed as well. We're going to work to get more information about those three injured firefighters, and we're going to continue to monitor the scene and bring you updates uh, throughout the evening.